good morning students today we will learn about uh, newtonings experiment so we we use here the newtonings formula lambda lambda is equals to dm square minus dm square 4r into m minus 1 so we are going to measure here the lambda of unknown source is given given so this is the best method to find out uh, newtonings newtonings apparatus we will see observe here um, first uh, uh, microscope you are going to observe so that's why it is called a traveling microscopes traveling on platform okay so platform i'm going to open the screw and uh, i'm going to observe so see i'm going to rotate and move in the left side and i'm going to move right side uh, if i'm going to close that now so the rotation will, uh, will tighten then i'm going to move left right using that screw so you got uh, newton rings then you will going to move using that knob left and right okay there are two vernier and the main scales you have one is on vertical and uh, another one is on uh, so y axis x axis y axis will going to move using that uh, screw and x axis will going to move what i have seen the um, last screw right here so we will not using that one now uh, now vertical screw scale uh, vertical scale and we are using the horizontal scale so i will place i uh, have we will see here a plano convex lens and uh, one glass plate and uh, one black platform so black colored platform if you are going to use cloth or maybe any black colored uh, black colored surface you have to use now i am showing here plano convex lens how to find out the is it what they are given that one plano convex lens or not so by will see you will get uh, is it a plano convex lens or not otherwise uh, uh, we will going to observe so plano convex means one side is plane other side is curved curved surface placed on glass plate i am rotating it is free, freely moving and uh, uh, reverse i will take out the plane surface i will pl place on glass plate it will not move very free uh, that's that is a way one good method to find out uh, which side is plane and which side is a uh, curve you will see that when i placed curved surface downside there is a gap you will observe by seeing the side and uh, means there is a thin film is observed so when we placed curved surface downside okay suppose i will going to rotate uh, these lens and I will place plane surface at the top of the glass plate. We will see here there is no space observed right here. So this is the way we will get the thin film by placing <coughs> your curved surface on the top of your glass plate. Okay. Microscope you have to place exactly center of your lens. Okay. By seeing you will place out there. And uh, so I will... Uh, bring one small paper so for focusing our uh, microscope how you are going to focusing the microscope just you take out one paper so I have written small the word okay a small word I have placed and that small word paper so what I have written V I have written so exactly center of your plano convex lens by moving that knob so up and down we will see and we will observe and we will focusing on that paper why so if you are focusing on the paper the word v we will see clearly without any blur i we are showing here the word v we will see clearly properly means that one <clears throat> a focal length is set now do not disturb that uh, microscope so okay i will take out paper and uh, then I will arrange one glass plate that glass plate I will place out exactly 45 degrees this is the 90 degrees exactly I will move somewhat angle so I will get exactly 45 degrees angle right clear so how to know the 45 means 
simple 90 degrees just somewhat angle i'll change that is we'll get that one 45 degrees angle so but slowly moving the 45 maybe 43 41 42 so we will observe here the newton rings exactly 45 you will get then only the newton rings will going to observe otherwise you will not get any newton rings clearly so sometimes i will going to move the platform okay so then i will get the newton rings once the 45 is arranged okay i will going to tighten it the screws then you are going to observe the newton rings otherwise it will you will not get any newton rings okay slowly you will change the angle okay you will get definitely at 45 newton rings why because light will going to transmit straight so i want to bend downside that's why i have to keep it this glass plate 45 degrees angle half of the light will going to transmit straight half of the light will fall on the your plano convex lens so on means than on your uh, thin film so you will get the interference and uh, you will see here the newton rings so it form a newton rings uh, see here somewhat uh, lines you are going to observe see 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 once that one somewhat black lines and bright lines you observe that lines that are called uh, newton rings okay i'll use the formula and i'll find out before i will going to find out uh, we will check out uh, what is the least count least count formula is one main scale division by total number of nes scale divisions okay the formula is once again i'll repeat one main scale division by total number of nes scale divisions i'll go for the main scale check i'll check out the main scale so we'll see the main scale the main scale you will observe the vernier scale so 0 to 50 next main scale you have the one unit one unit it contain 20 lines 15 minus 14 14 minus 13 13 minus 12 so you have the each unit gap is one centimeter see 13 means in one centimeter how many total lines are there 20 lines are there one small one big means combination you have totally 20 lines we have right here yeah. so i'll observe here so one main scale division value <coughs> how we are going to find out right total vernier scale division values are 50 that's why directly i'll place out uh, uh, 50 and one main scale division means on one unit one unit is contained what is the how many lines 20 lines 20 lines um, for 10 centimeters now cross multiplication 1 by 20 that is you have 0. Point, uh, 0 0.05 you will get that is one main scale division value so i'll substitute in the least count formula so 0. 0.05 divided by 50 that i will get 0. 0.001 centimeters okay so this is your least count uh, will be found from the uh, traveling microscope okay so it's a very easy and uh, any operator you will take out first you have to find out the find out the least count right then uh, we will observe here so we got some rings rings like that central spot and surrounded with some rings right let's concentrate on that one now we will get 20 rings suppose you want to take out from the reading from 20 right so see from the center, center I, it is there your cross lines, means eyepiece cross lines are exactly at center. Count down from there, 20, let's suppose a 20th ring, consider some, I will consider some 20th right. So I will place out your cross lines, I will start reading from 20th right. Why? Because if you are taking from center, so you will go and back, you will get error. That's why I will start with 20, do not start with the uh, first, uh, first ring start with 20th ring okay now i will go for the uh, 20 ring or 10th ring so i have written the paper 10th ring so i'll start with 10th ring 10th ring i have placed exactly cross lines i have written that one main scale reading plus vernier scale reading into list count main scale reading i'll going to find out i'm concentrating on main scale okay so main scale you observe the main scale reading i'm taking that one means i have to concentrating on main scale on main scale so what is the reference i have take out vernier scale arrow that what you are observing that i will take out the main scale the reference so at this case i am going to observe the 8.8 uh, 
three five is the main scale reading. Why? It is the when your caliper's arrow is exactly matched on the main scale. The exactly match on the main scale. The main scale it going to match at a eight point three five. That's why I will take out the main scale reading. When your scale reading I will take out. There is no reference on the main scale reading. That's why zero to fifty. Which line is exactly matching? See that one zero to fifty. Which line is exactly matching? So by using the magnified lens, we will observe the exact matching of zero to fifty. That line I will take out as a vernier reading. Means vernier coincidence. We'll use you that one. All right, clear. So so means I'll consider zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. So zero to fifty. Any one line is exactly matching. That gives you that one. Vernier scale reading. Okay. See the I will note down here the main scale reading plus Vernier scale reading into the least count. The main scale reading is eight eight point three five and Vernier scale reading I have taken twenty and uh, least count you have taken zero point zero one. I will take out. So this is the way I am going to find out the I am going to find out uh, the value of uh, Tenth reading or tenth right side reading, I will take out eight point three five into zero point zero one means the zero point zero one in twenty that you have take out in one bracket that I will get zero point zero two zero. I will going to add. I will get here eight point three five. I will get okay clear. So I will go for next ninth right, eighth right, similar process, sixth right, fifth right. Fourth right and third right and second right and uh, I'll go for uh, similarly first right and uh, I'll continue these things. So first left, second left, third left, fourth left, fifth left, sixth left, seventh left and eighth left. So we'll then subtract uh, I'll get left the minus right I will of your uh, uh, rings. Or tenth minus tenth, you are getting that one diameter substitute.